still alive? Who could that giant servant? What's that sound? How did you kill it? You have no weapons. 
I don't need weapons. With me, a good squeeze of the hand is more than weapons. So you choke me. Yes, I choked you. Never in my life have I been so strong as I am now. Papa, hey, no! That's for me. Corn flutes. Who they actually are, I have no idea. All I know is, every day they take in my birds. And in return, they give me wine, sugar bread, and sweet face. Then I suppose they are very beautiful. I don't think so. They were, they wouldn't wear makeup. Papa, hey, no! You ask me if these ladies are beautiful, and all I can tell you is that never in my life have I ever seen anyone more charming. Imagine that I do you Papa, hey, no! Heavens, what can I have done to them to have made them so angry? Here, my lovely ladies, I brush my birds. This time, in return, the queen sends you, instead of wine, pure, clear water. And she sent me, instead of sugar bread, to give you this. Stone. Here's good health to you. I should eat stones. And instead of sweet figs, I have the honor of locking up your mouth with this magic padlock. <laughs> I imagine you would like to know why the queen punishes you in such a strange way. <laughs> so that you will never again tell lies to strangers. And that you will never boast of heroic deeds achieved by others. Tell us. Did you kill the serpent? Mm -mm. Who did then? Oh, Prince, it was we who saved you. Uh, the queen sends you this portrait of her daughter. If you find that these features are not different to you, she says then happiness, honor, and glory will be your destiny. Farewell. How do you, Monsieur Papageno? Don't drink too fast. <laughs>
stop where he tries to talk, but all in vain. I can no help or comfort offer, I wish I could really your thing. I can no help or comfort offer, I wish I could I wish I could breathe in your pain. I wish I could breathe in your pain.
laughter? Our torture. The end is fine, Moore. We should have come. We should have left tomorrow. Lupita. Well? The beautiful maiden. Well? Has run away. Run away? She escaped? Of course. At least it is my sincere wish. Oh, thank you, good God. You have heard my plea. Did I not tell us the state of the promise when you will be avenged? And at last I tell the punishment. What does the Moor say to all this? He knows about this, does he not? Naturally. She escaped before his very eyes. Or so I've been told by brothers who have listened to him watching from the field. The Moor can no longer be saved, even if the man should be brought back to Sir Oscar's suit. How so? You know the old thing caught in his ways? The Moor, the old maiden, was more clever than I thought. Just when he thought they were gone, Felina called out Sir Oscar's name, which terrified the Moor. As he stood silent and motionless, while Amina ran over to the river and floated down the stream of gun toward the onlookers. Oh, the shy of your worry, frightened to death, the powers of her mother! Oh, play! Nostos' voice! Oh, play! Bring change! Change? It's not for Amina! Look there, brothers! The maiden has been caught! Amina! Horrible sight! See how long I was corrupt, the devil grasped her by her poor tender hands. I cannot bear it. Even less than I. You see such a thing as the torture of hell. My dainty lamb can enter, please. Who oh, will my torture forever cease? Your life is at my mercy. Story to 
Yesterday I was outside the castle making my usual delivery. Delivery? Yes, for years I've been delivering all sorts of birds for the queen of the night and her maids. Well, today I was outside and there was this boy and he called himself Prince and the queen of the night showed him your picture and he was so taken with you. He found to love you on the spot. His decision was... He decided to rescue you.
love. Are you prepared to fight for these virtues at the risk of your very life? I am. Even at death for your love? Yes. Prince, there is still time to turn back. One step more and it will be too late. Wisdom shall gain my victory. Pumina shall be my reward. Give me your hand. <clears throat> will you too fight for the love of wisdom? The fighting is not exactly in my mind, and I don't demand too much wisdom either. I'm just a child of nature who likes nothing better than to have enough to eat and drink and maybe catch a pretty wife some days. That you shall never do unless you undergo our trials. What are these trials like? You must subject yourself to all our laws and not even fear death. I don't see what. But if the Rostro has chosen you a bride who resembles you in dress and color perfectly? Resembles me? Is she young? Young? And beautiful. And her name is Papagena. Pa pa Papagena. Papagena. Oh, I really would like to see her. Out of curiosity. See her, you may. But after I see her, they will have to die. I'll get to know. You may see her, but you may not speak to her. Will your mind have sufficient enough strength to control your tongue? Yes. Your hand. You shall see her. On you too, Prince. The gods are Impose reverent silence. Failing this, you both are lost. This is the beginning of reformation. Lights! Lights! Oh, every time those priests leave, you can't see your hand in front of your face. Bear it with patience, for it is the will of the gods. Here I find a magnificent beauty. What man could remain cold and unmoved before such a vision? 
The fire that burns within me will surely consume me. If I were to think I were all alone and unobserved, one little kiss, I should think, could be excused. <laughs>
yourself from me. Oh, why do you tremble? Because of my looks, or because of the murder that is planned? You know that. Everything. There's only one way to save yourself and your mother. And that is? To love me. Oh, God. <laughs> well, maiden, yes or no? No. No. Then die! Oh! Oh! My lord! I'm innocent! Your soul is as black as your heart! Now go! Now I shall look with the mother, for the daughter is not meant for me. Sire, please don't punish my mother with sorrow over having lost me. I know everything, and you shall see how I take revenge upon your mother.
My name is See if his wine cellar is as good as his kitchen. This wine is good for the gods.
why do we have to? Mm -hmm. Long live the chef and the wine steward. You go ahead, I'll stay here. No, the strongest one stays here. Now she'll begin to have a good time. I wouldn't leave now even if Mr. Sorosho sent his lions after me. Give my finest fathom to 
Oh, oh, oh. 